In the previous video, we talked about uh, deploying a web application. Once we've built it, we talked about what files we need to put up on the web server, what are necessary, and what we need to do. Now, the next logical question is, what happens when I change it? This thing's obviously going to update and evolve, and we're going to add functionality and take away functionality and so forth. And again, this is just so cool. You notice what you're going to do. You're going to create your new files. Then you're going to copy them to the web server and overwrite your previous files. You're finished at that point. Now, here's the cool part. You do not need to restart the server. You do not need to restart IIS. Same for the web application. You just copy the files out there. The minute they hit the production server, the very next person that hits the server gets the new information. This is a short video because there's just not that much you have to do. Now, I do want to warn you. I don't want to be like a used car salesman here. If you're coexisting with uh, old COM-based components, you're going to have some other issues you have to work through. This is an intro course. We're not going to get into those. But uh, I hope you can see, as we've gone through here, why ASP.NET is capturing the, the imagination and the attention of web developers. This has really made it easy to build uh, some incredibly functional web applications. Now, keep in mind, we didn't touch on ADO.NET. It's, it's incredibly enhanced, I guess you could say. That's kind of weird, incredibly enhanced. How we use ADO to connect to databases and so forth. And uh, I would strongly suggest you get the uh, ADO.net video from Virtual Training Company and take a look at that because in there we'll show you uh, how to use ADO.net uh, with Visual Basic.net to access data sources. But uh, when you add that to this, uh, you've blown the roof off. I, I want to strongly recommend that you go out. There's some excellent third-party materials out there. I'm not going to mention one because there's so many good ones. Microsoft Press has some great ones. Sam's, uh, Q Publications, New Writers, all those folks uh, have some great stuff. I uh, strongly recommend you get those and start working through them. The documentation with the software development kit for .NET has a lot of information in it. Tends to be a little more technical, uh, not as explanatory. That's it. That's as far as we're going to go with ASP.NET. Now, in the next video, I'm going to kind of bring a conclusion to this, tell you a little bit about myself uh, as the author, and um, close out the course, and I, I hope you've enjoyed it.